r slash ask reddit. Um, how would you get a small cylinder 5.1 inches in length and 4.5 inches in girth, unstuck from a mini m and MC filled with butter and a microwave mashed banana? <laughs> the comments will be replies if are hilarious. It's your dick, bro. You suck your dick in an m and MC with butter. Go take a cold shower and relax. It's a cylinder. Bro, do you think it's your dick stuck in an m and tube? It's a cylinder. You know what? That's just your dick now. Live with your m and tube filled with butter and banana stick for the end of your days and think about what you've done. It's a cylinder. Urinate if possible. I don't see how urination has anything to do with my trap cylinder, but okay. What's the important about the cylinder? It's not attached to your isn't it? It's attached to a larger structure, so there's a weird angle situation to try and insert anything else into the tube. If the tube isn't made of anything soft, you could solve through the m M&M container. Hop the tail. It's plastic, but I don't want to risk damaging what's inside. Cut the cylinder free from the larger object to give you more access. Cut the m M&M's container. If you freeze it, the plastic will break easily if a smash of a hammer. Reattach the cylinder after removal from the tube. If you have trouble reattaching the cylinder, there are repair specialists that can assist for a fee, depending on how much you value the cylinder at. It is imperative that the cylinder and the larger object remain unharmed. If the banana was microwaved, it could be removed by using a spoon to scoop it out. If the cylinder is stuck in a tube, it can be removed by twisting it or using a butter knife to loosen it. I'm not comfortable having a knife that close to the cylinder. Cut the tube. I don't want to risk a blade coming that close to the cylinder. You're gonna want to get the largest structure the cylinder's attached to, moving at a high enough speed that the internal pressure of the cylinder goes down, freeing it from the tube. If that fails, I would consider going to a professional cylinder removing specialist. Due to another object attached to the cylinder's base, it is difficult to have enough range of motion large enough to gather enough speed and an angular momentum for that. If the small cylinder has blood flow, do jumping jacks to shrink the cylinder. If not, making everything cold should help. The butter even will solid and become a lubricant, so you should be able to pull it, it out. It seems like the cylinder may have expanded and pushed a lot of the butter out once inserted. But why would a cylinder have blood flow? Also, doing jumping jacks may cause harm to the other two objects attached to the base of the cylinder since it will be moving freely. 5.1's really big. Maybe stick a smaller cylinder in there next time? The problem at hand is quite hard to solve though. I think the best course of action is to see a doctor despite how embarrassing a small cylinder in a mini m and tube is. The cylinder was smaller when inserted. Maybe due to the change in temperature it expanded significantly. That's where the problem started. Wait for the cylinder to go soft. What if the cylinder hasn't changed size in approximately three hours? Have you tried inserting another cylinder into the m and tube from the other side? If the tube had an opening on the other end, it would not be sealed. I will keep that in mind next time I try this experiment. Go to the hospital or call 911. Emergency services usually don't take kindly to calls about failed experiments. I think that they would be understanding in your case. The cylinder seems pretty important. You keep avoiding the question, but everybody knows you got your tiny dick stuck in the tube and too embarrassed to admit it or go to the hospital. Wait and it'll get solved and come out, or you may have to go to the hospital. But we all know what you did. It's not a tiny dick, it's an above average size cylinder. Okay, seriously, somebody. Yeah!